What's up guys, I'm Nomadic and in this video I'm gonna be showing you a trick that I use to sample on the internet. So back in the day, I used to actually go to the record stores, I used to actually dig through the clearance bins and stuff like that to find records that I wanted to sample. And you know, it was a fun process, but let's face it, sometimes we can't, we can't always be doing that. Sometimes you're not trying to spend money on records. And not to mention, especially now during COVID, probably not the best time to be going out to record stores. So what I did was I actually found a new method that you can use to do sort of like the same thing, like digging through the different sections like soul sections or electronic sections or rock sections. How you can kind of do that, but you can do it over the internet in a way that I think kind of mimics the way that I would do it if I was actually in the record store. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go over to discogs.com. So for those of you who don't know, Discogs is basically a site that has data and information on basically any record you can imagine. They have data on like everything from all over the world. Like basically every single published piece of music is on discogs.com. So this is the site that I use to go crate digging and digging for samples. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna click on the explore tab and you wanna to go to explore all. So this is basically just gonna pull up a filter uh, on the left where you can filter and choose what you're seeing and uh, the main section right here is, is, is like the, uh, the section that shows you all the records that you know has in its database. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to go to the left and as you can see here there's genre so you can pick which genre you want so like rock, electronic, jazz, funk slash soul, classical, kind of like what you see in a record store. And if you scroll down, I like style too. It's kind of like a little bit more specific than just like the the general like genres. Uh, some some styles I like, uh, easy listening, I really like that one. Um, I like bossa nova, I like uh, salsa, you know, just like really specific stuff like that you can find in the style category. But what I usually like to do is I used to I, I like to start on the uh, the decade section because the decade kind of lets you filter it down to the exact uh, year that the record comes came out and I really like 70s records so I'm gonna click 1970 and right now we have a list of about a million records so I like 1970s I just clicked it and you're gonna see a whole list of releases that came out in 1970 so the thing is with Discogs the thing you want to do that you want to make sure of is a lot of these releases yes they're present on discogs.com but the problem is they're so random that a lot of these releases don't actually have a YouTube video associated with them and you'll see in a second I'm going to show you because um, you want to click on these and actually be able to listen to them at least partially so what you want to do is at the top you want to click the drop down arrow and you want to switch it to most collected. That's the that's the one I like to choose because most collected shows up um, from top to bottom the ones that people actually have in their libraries, and they're a lot more likely to be linked with the YouTube video when you click on the on the section. So when you click it, as you can see, you have a bunch of you know Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, the Eagles, you know super popular records. Uh, but if you want to find something that's more obscure, kind of like what I prefer to do when I, when I sample, if you go to country, you can really filter it down to a unique country. So like maybe you could find something in, let's say, Indonesia. Pick that. And then right off the bat, I see some unique records. I've never even heard of this before. And you just really click it and just see what happens. Okay, so this is the record. I just clicked on it. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a YouTube video next to it. So if you click the play button, you can actually listen to the sample, listen to the record, see what it sounds like. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to worry about copyright issues. But that's basically how it works. And sometimes what happens is you click it and you don't see a YouTube video. But if you click on this section right here, this is kind of like it's showing you the same record, but where it's been published, uh, multiple releases, like in multiple countries. So if a video doesn't show up here, you could you could click one of them on the left and then you can find find a different one too. So really that's that's kind of the method. That's what I like to do. And a big part of sampling is just to, you know, have an open ear and just literally just find something that you like that sounds good. You know, it's not really like 
you know, there's a secret method to it or anything. It's just having a good ear and just trying different things out. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's basically it. That's, that's my method and, and yeah. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful. If you're having any problems sampling, just download the kit I have in the description. It's a free sample kit that I made so you can get sampling really easily if that's what you want to do. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you later.